Where's Mummy? She's gone into hospital for a few days. What's wrong? Nothing. Come on, let's load up the wagon. No need to worry, David. I'm here to look after you. Everything's going to be all right. Well, what's all the fuss? Oh, come on, I want to get this place tidied up before Miss Fiona gets back. <laughs> is she not dead yet? No, she is not. You shouldn't be saying things like that. A few days in hospital was all she needed to put her right. Put her right? The woman's off her head. As soon as she gets back, she's going to try and do the same thing again. That's enough. She must be better. They wouldn't let her out of hospital so quick. All right, so suppose she doesn't do it again. She's going to freak out when she finds out Greg Ryder's been staying here. Morning, Mum. Morning, dear. Morning, Dad. Mm. Morning, scumbag. Are you not going to have any breakfast? Oh, I'm in a bit of a rush. Why? College doesn't start till 10, does it? Yeah, well, I said I'd see Nick off. <laughs> well, that's so romantic. He's only going to Edinburgh. It's not the other side of the world, you know. Very good, Gary. You used to be thinking you flunked geography. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Uh, Enjoy being crowded, Gary. Uh, I've just made some tea. Do you want a cup? No, I've got to get back to work. I'll lift all my clean uniforms here. Right. Oh, look, this is silly, Emma. Things were bad enough before you stormed off to Yorkshire. I didn't storm off. All right, I'm sorry, but I've hardly seen you since you got back. And you never showed face yesterday. Well, I didn't want to embarrass you again. You didn't embarrass me. No, it must have been a heart attack you were having then. You didn't waste time getting pally with Carol, did you? Oh, so what did you expect me to do? Sit around here sighing until you decided to come back? Look, I've got to go to work. I don't have time to argue. I don't want to argue. Well, I'm coming back later anyway. One postcard, Emma. That is all I got. Well, weren't you lucky? Hi. Hi. She said I didn't think you'd remember. Oh, a girl like me never breaks a promise. Yeah, you shouldn't have come. Why not? I hate goodbyes. Oh, so you'll be used to them then? Oh, look, stop it. I want you to know that I'm really pleased to have met someone like you at a place like this. Casablanca. What? Oh, I just thought I'd heard that line before somewhere. Look, I'm going to be back up for the next disco. Oh, at last, the roof's seen hit secondary. And I'll let you know as soon as I'm coming. I promise? And like me, never breaks a promise. And I'm going to be thinking about you every day at university. Oh, yeah? I will. I have always wanted to be late at some time. Think of me. I'll no, think about it. And that's a start. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you, too. Any word about Miss Fiona? Well, I thought you'd have known better than us, Tom. Me? Why? Well, Sheila, she's gone to pick her up at the hospital. Did she not say anything to you? No. Oh, that's funny. But I'm sorry, Sadie. I thought you would have heard. News usually travels fast in Glendarroch. Sheila broke off her engagement the other night. Oh, Tom. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I didn't know. What happened? I wish I knew. Sheila, what time is it? Uh, half past ten. Look, we're cutting things a bit fine. Cutting what fine? Um, look, never mind. Just could you get me back to Glendark as quickly as possible, please? Oh, looks like 
like you're going off on an expedition. Oh, we are. You're done. Mm, gallivanting, eh? <laughs> How long have you been back, then, Emma? A couple of days. You never came to see us. Oh, no, I'm sorry about that. Well, it's just been such a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> and you never came to see us. I uh, know. Anyway, is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you, dear. No, we're just going for the bus. Going to town. <laughs> and how's Donald? And Dougal and Gladys? They're fine. And he wanted me to ask you when you're going down to visit him. Uh, well, I have been thinking about paying them a visit. Mm -hmm. Is he happy there? Oh, he's loving it. And is he well? Yes, he's never looked better. Who? Oh, Dougal. Oh, I. Oh, you should be going down to pay them a visit, Grace. He's having a great time, Mum, too. Well, with all this jet setting, going after Yorkshire should be a piece of cake for you. Look at you now, eh? Jaunting down to Octown. <laughs> <laughs> and how is your young man? Well, he seems to have kept himself busy while I've been away. Oh, that's nice. He's a very enthusiastic young fellow, isn't he? Hmm, well, I think he'll have to keep his mind on his work if what I hear is true. What oh. do you hear? Do you not know? What? Well, Effie overheard Eric talking on the phone to Sheila up at the big house. Fiona's taken an overdose. Miss Fiona? Oh, the poor soul. Is she all right? She seems to be. What has she done? She's had an accident. An accident, my foot. Well, what else can it be? Oh, no. You don't think she took them deliberately? Well, from what I've heard's been happening up at the big house, I wouldn't be surprised. Where are you off to? To a room, if that's all right. Ah, uh, well, be sure and stay there. You're still grounded. Yeah, there's no need to tell me every five minutes. Oh, good morning, Mr. Ryder. Morning, David. How are you today? I'm good. <laughs> We've decided to take the day of school, haven't we, David? I've told him Fiona's coming back today. All right. I think it's best if I'm not around. So would you keep an eye on him? Of course. Sheila's at the hospital now, so they should be back fairly soon. I'll give Fiona time to settle in. Right, right. Do I get a cuddle, David? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you stay with Sadie till Mummy comes home, all right? OK. Bye-bye for now. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. Come on, we'll do the game, will we? Here we go. Want to put that on? Effie told me yesterday. I couldn't believe it. But do you not think it could have been an accident? I mean, it'd be very easy to take one sleeping pill and then, then forget and take another one. Um, I doubt it was more than that, Grace. Mm -hmm. They'd to use the stomach pump, oh. I believe. And we all know what brought that on. What brought what on? You mean you don't know? That's a surprise. Don't know what? Oh, she'll have to know. Excuse me, but is there some sort of a conspiracy going on in here? No, there is not, Mrs. Mack. We're just talking about Fiona Ryder. Well, what about her? She's in hospital. Oh, dear. What's the matter with her? She took an overdose, apparently. Oh, you mean she tried to kill herself? Mind you, I'm not the least bit surprised after the way that man of hers has been shenanigating with that London trollop. She speaks very highly of you too, Mrs. Mack. Look, is there not something we can do, Isabel? Is she fully recovered? Oh, I gather so. She's getting home today, I believe. Oh, well, oh. thank goodness for that. She may not have very much moral fibre, but I must say, I much prefer her to the other two at the big house. Tell me, was it an accident or did she do it deliberately? We don't know, Mrs. Mack. <laughs> That's the way it should stay, as far as she's concerned. I'll be in touch. Thanks. Morning, Phillips. Morning, Can you get David? You can't just walk out like this. Where are you going? You're in charge, Sheila. I'll be in touch. Bye. I wish I knew. I was just going to ask her when she wanted a car serviced. 
If I were you, Joker, I'd just go ahead with it. You can't control the Ryder Corporation from this room. Will you forget about the Ryder Corporation? I can't forget it, Greg. It's our future. We should be out of this place by now. Back in London, looking for new premises. God knows it shouldn't be difficult, given the current economic situation. Sam. What? Will you please be quiet and let me think? The time for thinking is over, Greg. It's time for decisions. She's my wife. I did this to her. I want to see her, even if it's only to apologize. She's coming out of hospital today, and she's going back to that great barn of a place. Well, ring the florist and have it filled with flowers if it'll ease your conscience. What are you going to say to her if you do confront her? And what about David? He'll be hanging around our necks like a millstone. There are times when you're a heartless bitch. Yes, well, I never was as good with children as you are. I'm beginning to wonder whether you're good with anybody. Very smart. Hey? Oh, thanks very much. What's that? It's a cardboard box. So it is. Douglas. I had a lot of time to think while I was away. You know, we don't really have very much in common, do we? We've got loads in common. Well, I, I don't know. You've got very ambitious recently. Douglas, you're obsessed with your work. Well, I've always wanted to get on in the force. Is there anything wrong with that? No. I... It's just you seem to have made all these plans and ideas about what you want to do with your life. I mean, I just don't see where I fit into them. Well, hang on a minute. You're making assumptions about what I want before I've had a chance to say anything about it. Well, go on, then. Oh, Emma. I've got to go now. I've got to meet someone. Mm. Is she nice? It's police business. There's been a lot of trouble since you've been away. Burglaries, fights, the village hall was broken into. Still, I've got a good idea who's behind it all. Oh, well, I've got an alibi. Don't be silly, Emma. Let's talk about it later. Well, there's no point, is there? Yes, there is. Look, I've got to go. Well, don't let me hold you back. Anyway, I've decided I'm going to move back into the hotel, so I'll just collect all my stuff and then I'll be out of your way for good. <sighs> Emma, please, let's talk about it tonight. No, go on. I don't want to keep you back. Someone has to be hard and practical, and it would appear it has to be me. We've got our futures to think of, Greg. We don't want her hanging round our necks like an eminence grease, with you waiting for her to forgive you so that you can tastefully fall back into each other's arms. Sam, if you don't shut up, I'll... What? Do some work? Concentrate on transferring the business back to London? Because if that's the case, Greg, then I will shut up. I can't stand this. to be picked up from the hospital, is she? When's she coming back? I have no idea, Sadie. So what do we do? Oh, that's easy. Just carry on as if nothing had happened. I hate not knowing what's going on. I know. Me too. I'm sorry. Sheila, do you think she's thinking straight? You know, with all that's happened to her. Mr Ryder? Where's David? Uh, Fiona has him. Ah, good. Um, where is she? In the drawing room? No, she isn't here. What, she have some kind of relapse? Is she back in hospital? No. Sheila, I know you're trying to protect her, and I appreciate that. But I must see her. Greg, she isn't here. Well, where is she? I don't know. Well, you brought her back from hospital. You must know. I brought her back and she stayed long enough to pack a suitcase and collect David, and then she left. Left? Well, how? Her car's still here. She was collected by car. Sheila, what are you talking about? Sadie and Jockey will confirm it. Well, where's she gone? I can't see. Can't or won't? Where's the mean She should have been here by now. Bet still in the What are you looking for? Don't know. Anything. Something we could flog and get some money. There's a stereo in there. Nah, too much hassle. Oh, come on, there's plenty of other cars. Come on. 
I don't know, Mr. Ryder. I hardly saw her. She didn't say anything to me at all. You're lying to protect her. I am not. Honestly, I'm not. Uh, what's going on here? I'm trying to find out where Fiona's gone. Haven't the foggiest. But you saw her leave? Aye, in a great Rolls Royce with a chauffeur. Is that true, Jockey? Or have you and Sadie cooked this up between you? Why would we want to do that? To protect Fiona. I've told you all I know, Mr. Ryder, and that's the truth. I don't believe it. Uh, leave her alone. All right. Let me ask you one last question. Supposing you did know where we she's gone. We don't going. know. I'm saying, supposing you did know, would you tell me? I thought as much. I should have expected it. But I'll find her. Believe me, I will. You'd know how to treat you like that. I can't tell him what I don't know. No, of course not. Seems to me the sooner he's out of this house and out of our lives, the better. Sheila, is Greg there? What are you doing ringing here? Look, I'm sorry, I've got to speak to him. He's been there, hasn't he? I've no idea where he is. Look, do me a favour. Get him to ring me. You might not have noticed, Sam, but things aren't exactly normal here at the moment. Yeah, well, I wish you could understand what I'm going through. I'm more concerned with what Fiona's going through. I can understand that. Actually, she's not here. I thought you picked her up from the hospital this morning. I did, but she's uh, gone with David. Well, where's she gone? I don't know. She's walked out, has she? Has she, Sheila? Hey, come on. Have you seen Fiona? I didn't know she was back. How is she? Don't mess about, Tom. Fiona's gone. Gone where? That's what I'm asking you. Now, will you answer a straightforward question? I don't know, Mr. Ryder. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoke to you like that. You said that you've known her for years. True. But that doesn't mean she tells me everything. I mean, why should she? But if she has gone away, maybe she's just looking for a wee bit of peace and quiet. And I can understand that. I see. I just thought maybe she'd come back. Thank you, sister. Goodbye. Go away, Sam. She's not here. I thought she might have gone back to the hospital. She hasn't. Good. How can you say good? Think positively, Greg. Can't you see this is the best thing that could have happened? It leaves us free. Don't start that again. Look, I, I know you're upset about David. I know how you dote on the child. But face it, Greg, you're only his adoptive father. He belongs to Fiona. They belong to each other, just as you and I do. I don't know what you're talking about. We have found each other again. After years in the wilderness, are you really going to throw that away again? No, of course you're not. We belong to each other. That's why you brought me to Glendarroch in the first place. You knew it, even when you were trying to cut me out. You just will not understand, will you, Sam? Fiona is my wife. 
David is my son. How often do I have to keep saying that? I have to know where they've gone. It doesn't matter where they've gone. We're still here. Of course it matters. She left with David two days after trying to take her life. I mean, God knows what state she's in. I'm not staying here talking to you, Sam. I've got to find them. Greg, you can't. What's this about Miss Fiona going away? It's true. Mr. Ryder just asked me if I knew anything about it. You might have told me. I didn't know myself until she left this morning after I picked her up from the hospital. She take David? Yes. Was she all right? I've never seen her saner or more determined in my life. Well, how long is she going to be away for? That's a $64,000 question. Well, what happens to the estate while she's away? In the meantime, you and I carry on as usual. It's all coming out now. What well, people have always thought. Ever since Fiona tried to take a life, they're all blaming me. And they're right to. I've become an outsider again. They're all ignoring me. They're not telling me anything. Greg, you're becoming paranoid. I'm not going to be fobbed off by any of them. Look, you mustn't start thinking this way. My wife and son are out there somewhere. I have a legal right to see David. If Fiona's unbalanced, I'll do whatever I can to sort that out, but I must find them. Look, why do you think they went away? To get away from you? Do you really think she's going to thank you if you do find them again? No, she won't. But I just need to talk to her. Greg, you're destroying yourself and you'll probably end up destroying them. You started all this. Me? Yes, you. I should never have taken up with you again. Greg. Ever since you've been here, you've been chipping away, haven't you? Undermining my relationship with Fiona. I should never have brought you here. You're a scheming, heartless, conniving bitch, Sam. You always have been. Now, just a minute. Get out of this house. It's Fiona's. If she comes back and finds you here, that's the end of my chance of a reconciliation. How dare you? Because that's what I want, Sam. A reconciliation. Not the Ryder Corporation, not you. Just my wife and son. You've done your damnedest to ruin my marriage. Your presence here offends me. Now get out before I throw you out. <laughs> 